former England cricketer and friend of the show, Monty Panesar, joins us in the studio. So, Monty, what is going on in your world? Yeah, well, look, I think we've had, you know, last 10 days, um, there's been obviously huge changes taking place, you know, at Yorkshire. The CEO's left, I think director of cricket, Martin Moxon, um, has kind of left his post for, you know, stress-related sort of illness. Andrew, you know, Gale has been sort of suspended. They've lost sponsorship and um, international cricket, you know, we, we don't know if that's going to happen either. And then... Obviously, the appointment of, you know, Lord Patel, who's got a, you know, a huge job, you know, ahead of him to, you know, um, listen to people. They've got a, um, you know, uh, a new hotline that's going to be set up on Monday for people to, um, you know, call in any sort of, I think, you know. And who's that? Is that former cricketers, people who work there or is this also for the fans? Yeah, it, it could be for fans. It could be, you know, for um, local, you know, uh, cricket players who, who play on, on, on a Saturday, um, amateur professional cricketers, anyone who's, you know, involved, you know, any stakeholders involved, you know, part of cricket, you know, in, in Yorkshire, um, they, 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 you know, there's a, there's a call, there's a line for them to call and, and, and what, talk what, about any discrimination. What difference do you think Lord Patel's going to make here? Well, I think this is this is a moment to to be to be listening, to be hearing about you know other people's stories, and uh, and and working their way through that. You know, um, I think the major of Azim Rafiq, he's, he got, he got his you know major you know what he wanted to do, his wish, and uh, he's he's had the clear out. Um, uh, he's got two hundred thousand pound, you know, um, you know, some settlement from Yorkshire. Um, now, you know, I we will hear what happens on Tuesday with all the allegations that come through. But we also, you know, got to bear in mind that, you know, Yorkshire do need finances as well to help them through this process. You know, I would like to see international cricket, you know, come back next year. That's really, really important. You know, we saw some of the you know, greatest test matches during the Ashes at Headingley. And that's really, really important in my opinion. Yeah, it's got to clear out what's going on. It's got to rebuild its reputation for them to do that. But it seems that it's not just Yorkshire this is happening. We're now being told there are similar issues at Essex. Well, Essex, um, you know, they've got a new um, CEO, John Stevenson, who's been appointed, you know, four weeks ago. And um, I think this sort of allegation was kind of, you know, heard in 2018, you know, where, where the ECB kind of you know, knew about this. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I think some people, you know, may be thinking, why wasn't there a swift response? You know, I think with some of these kind of situations, it's very difficult as well, knowing that the, as the ECB, the most important thing for them is to have the strongest you know, England team. That's what we need. we need. We need so much success that sometimes due to the success of the, the top team, you know, of, of our winning the World Cup, doing well in the ashes, that sometimes these kind of, you know, um, it's, this is a time for reviewing the system so we have an urgent response. Is this new to you, what's happening here, Monty, or were you also subject to racism in your cricketing career? I wasn't subject to any racism, you know, during my cricketing career. And, uh, you know, sometimes it's, um, you know, um, I think from the location you're from as well, you know, um, further north you go, um, maybe, you know, diversity, cultural issues could be, you know, a, a, a question mark. But I, we I don't, we question don't, we, 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 question we... geographically as mm -hmm. places like, you know, uh, Bradford and Yorkshire are multicultural, places mm -hmm. like Liverpool is the uh, multicultural, it's been a port. So I'd, I'd question that. But you personally haven't um, suffered sort of racism abuse. What else could it be then? Well, I, I haven't, you know, received any racism, you know, when I played um, my time as a professional cricketer. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, this is a very individual case by case. You know, if there's any players, coaches who do feel that, ECB have, you know, they've, they've set up a, a hotline. So I have, you know, Yorkshire and um, they are willing to, I think now, you know, take this very seriously and review their system as well amongst the, you know, to have a more swifter response, you know, when any of these kind of you know, allegations are, are brought forward. So do you have confidence that we can clean up what's going on in cricket? 
Absolutely. You know, I have huge confidence, you know, with the ECB and, uh, you know, the CEOs working around, you know, the, the county coaches, sorry, the county teams that, uh, you know, the, the, they are doing, they are, you know, uh, at the moment, you know, making some strong decisions. And we've seen it, obviously, a clear out Yorkshire. And um, if there has to be, you know, anything else that needs to be done, then I'm sure, you know, the ECB and, uh, and the respective, you know, county sort of, you know, executive board, you know, meetings that, that they were able to, Have you, you know, reached out to Azeem? Have you tried to speak to him to see what What's going on? I, I haven't reached out to him personally. Um, and, uh, you know, um, that's something I'm, I, I think, you know, he's probably got you know, his own team around him as well and, and lawyers and teams. So, you know, this is his personal matter with Yorkshire County Cricket Club. And uh, um, th that's something that, you know, he's, he, uh, he's, he's even got the backing of, of the government here. So, you know, he, he should, he's got lots of support, you know, for, for this.